Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy me and today I'm gonna show you how to get RetroArch on your Xbox. I bet let's get straight into it. This link's gonna be in the pinned comments, so check this out. If the link is down, comment on it and I'll let you know when the new links are up. But for this, just type it in on your Xbox browser and then press enter. You should get this popped up. Click on open. It's gonna bring you to the Microsoft Store. Just click on install. It should take about a minute. And once you get it, launch the game. All right, once you open it up, what you want to do is go down to online updater and update all these files at the bottom. Just click A on them. It shouldn't take long at all. And then once that's finished, if you want to change the menu, what you could do is go to settings, go to drivers, Go to menu and go down to XMB and then press the start or the Xbox button, quit the app, open it back up. And now it should look like this. All right, now that we're here, you don't have to update any cores. Everything is updated to the latest build. All you would have to do is just get your games on your USB. If you already have it configured for all the other emulator standalone apps, then you wouldn't have to do anything. But if you need to format your USB, please look at the description below. I have multiple links on things that you could use that should be useful. All right, so now we're going to scan your game. So what you could do is press the plus sign over here. Go to manual scan. Press A to contents folder. Mine's plugged into the front of the Xbox, so it's the D drive. Uh, we're going to do some of my GameCube games. So I'm going to go to my GameCube game folder. I'm going to say scan this folder. Now go down. Go to default emulator core. Then we'll go all the way down to the end. Let's look for Nintendo, GameCube, and Wii Dolphin. And then go all the way down and click on Start Scan. It might take a while depending on how many games you have. But if you do it this way, when you load the game, it'll go straight into it instead of you having to load the game and then press the core. Once it's done scanning and you go back to the default menu, it should be all the way to the right side. It should have its own tab. So these are my Nintendo GameCube games. And now when you go to click on it, you press play. It may take a while depending on the core. Uh, for GameCube and Wii, it does take a while. Alright, now that we know that the game loads, what you can do is press the start and select button. This will bring up the menu. You can make a save state, you can do a load state, but you can also save in the game and it'll make a save file. And then also from here, what you could do is you could go to core options and you could change the internal resolution of the game. So for Dolphin, I don't really recommend it on RetroArch, but you can play on it. So you could just test it out depending on the game and performance wise, if it's not good when you're upscaling, downscale it. But if you do want to have GameCube and Wii games, I do recommend the standalone Dolphin app. I have a video on my channel. I'll put that in the description as well. Also, you can do like widescreen hacks, a uh, lot of different settings that you could do. You could do texture packs. I have videos on that on my channel as well. Yeah, then from here, you could also just quit out of the game. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions on what core you should use for specific games, let me know and I'll let you know. And yeah, man, I hope this helped. If it helped, please hit that like and follow for more. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.